Hey folks, Leo on the pod. Real quick video of this. Uh, by way of a VR to um, my good friend Simon, Ariage pipe smoker, um, who's doing a giveaway. Um, and um, and it's it was typical actually that uh, the last video I did a few days ago, whenever it was, um, just upload, just finished uploading, I think, when I saw his giveaway video, where he asked the question, um, what do you look for in a pipe? And I'd already actually outlined um, in that video um, one of the things that I look for in a pipe. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Goodness. Um... <coughs> too many years of cigarettes and I've had a long day um, but um, yeah so what I was what I was explaining in my last video is one of the things that really attracts me to a pipe uh, is the history I really love my estate pipes um, and don't get me wrong I've got some new ones which I absolutely love um, I'm really into the uh, Peterson systems at the moment. My 302 and 303 are um, constant companions. Incidentally, in which, one of which I'm smoking some Mellow Virginia. Uh, special Virginia, as it's called here now. But yeah, by way of VR to Simon, um, I'll expand a little bit on what I look for in a pint. So, as I said in the previous video, my inclination towards a particular shape or style changes frequently depending on, depending on how I feel. Um, so, whenever I'm scrolling through eBay or looking through the online tobacconist pages, uh, wondering what to buy next, um, Yes, darling. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you in a moment, but I'm busy right now. Um, then um, it kind of very much depends on, on what my mood is at that time. And as I think I explained in the last one, my, my shape at the moment for this particular minute is the straight billiard. Um, this is one which I picked up on eBay pretty recently um, by Imperial. So it's quite old. Um, I haven't got a, a date, um, but uh, yeah, it will be what would have been a bog standard sort of war, wander into your local tobacconist, buy off the shelf kind of pipe. Um, certainly nothing special, but I love it because um, because of the history. Because this was this was somebody's pipe that was very very well used, and it's I have had a good old go at trying to remount the cake inside there um, and I reckon I'd have to take an angle grinder to some of it because it's really hard um, but actually the state it's in now I, I like it as it is it's got this beautiful conical shape inside the um, inside the tobacco chamber um, and I've given it a good clean up and everything else smokes like a champ and it's a little bit of somebody's history that that I still use that I'm still connecting with um, yeah, so that, that's one example. Uh, the first estate pipe I ever bought, I think probably, um, at least since I've been smoking tobacco seriously, rather than sort of going back to when I was a teenager, uh, was this Bulay Bulldog. Um, again, I went through a phase maybe five years ago or so, something like that, really digging bulldogs, straight bulldogs in particular. Um, and this was my first estate pipe, which I had a good job of cleaning up. Um, and I kind of, before I knew what I was doing, I, I gave the stem um, a bit of a sort of de facto Cumberland effect by using this polishing compound in a Dremel and I think getting the vulcanite a little bit too hot in places, <clears throat> which I rather like. So, <laughs> so I've kind of kept it that way rather than polishing it up super shiny. 
but again this um this is an old bule from the 60s probably um and and again was somebody's regular go-to at some point so i love that connection um and then i've also got yeah things like the uh sir douglas that was gifted to me a while ago now um and this is one of the original r martins so this is from blake mar um but back in the 1960s or 70s when sir douglas himself was commissioning this shape to be made for him so this could well have been one of his one of his own who knows but the fact that it's made by the original maker um of of blake mar and um and it's the shape which kind of ties in historically um, with the person who commissioned it, again, is is just tremendously interesting to me. So I get a lot of pleasure out of out of smoking it. It's tiny, you know, really tiny. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So and and then I've got sort of more modern estates, I suppose. Like um, you've seen a few of my. Um, let's pop that down. You've seen a few of my Benny Thompsons. Um, in the past because I've got a couple of beautiful examples of Benny Thompson's but I don't think you've seen that one and this is special to me for uh, a couple of reasons um, first of all it's it's a bit different so it's made of olive olive wood not um, uh, not briar and that's quite interesting to me because um, uh, obviously I have a bit of a connection with Portugal and olive wood's a big thing there mm. I don't smoke this one nearly enough, but this one was gifted to me by Bjorn when uh, I went to visit him with Wolfgang a couple of years ago. Um, so this is also very special to me. Nothing in particular about the shape, but just it's a memory of a really good time with some really good friends. Um, and, uh, and obviously uh, it's been well used in the past uh, by Bjorn himself too. So... Um, now I have custodianship of it. Hmm. I might fill this one next, in fact. Now I'll come to mention it. But, yeah. So in a nutshell, what do I look for in a pipe? Um, it, it's the character. It's the history. It's the, um, it's the dipping my fingers into the ocean of time um, without wanting to sound too dramatic. Um or romantic or whatever but there's just that having that connection that connection with uh, the the people who've used them previously that's what i get that's what i really look for in a point and yes when i go shopping for a brand new one there are certain things that i might you know i, I might be in the mood for at the moment i'm looking for a good church warden um i've got a nice savinelli condal but it's not quite long enough. So I'm looking to replace a church warden that I left in Papua New Guinea some years ago. Um, and uh, so I've got that shape in mind when, I, when I'm sort of next shopping for one. But those, those things are fairly transient. Those thoughts are fairly transient. The thing that I really like is that, that notion that I'm somehow connecting with the past. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's what I look for, really, I guess. Um, anywho, this video has already gone on longer than I'd intended. I've had a long day at work. I'm knackered. So I'm having a beer, thinking about what to cook for my dinner. And then I shall be hitting the sack. But, uh, yeah, uh, go and check out Simon's channel and his giveaway. I'll put a link in the bucket and I'll catch you all again soon. Ta-ta.